Being almost halfway through summer, I know at least in the West Coast, the temperature has been some of the highest amounts we've seen in the past couple years. With these rising temperatures, sometimes we can neglect one of the most important steps to prevent any damage from these temperatures. And no, I'm not talking about sunscreen, though it is useful. Hi, my name is Rohan, live on the Healthy Human Podcast. In this episode, we are going to be talking about hydration and five healthy tips to make sure you stay hydrated. Let's first talk about the basics. In the adult male, their bodies are made up of about 60% water. Being true, this makes water one of the most important nutrients on the planet, which is why we have to replenish this source periodically. The first tip I want to talk about is how much water you should drink per day. Doctors recommend that the average person should consume about 8 cups of water per day. The fact of the matter is that we are all different and shouldn't succumb to the average. There are a lot of charts that exist on the internet that give you a rough estimate on the amount of water you should consume in a given day based on one's weight. Adhering to the chart and drinking the recommended daily amount can be super beneficial to you. The next tip I want to talk about is how to remember to drink water. After doing research, I can say that setting an alarm daily can help you remember when to take your water. To test this method, I in fact tried to see if this would work. Surprisingly, it did. Normally, I can get pretty forgetful, but having an alarm allowed me to remember and adhere to the goals I created. Another tip I want to talk about is how we can continue to reinforce this water intake. What I mean by this is to carry some sort of water bottle with you wherever you go, so you are constantly reminded of your water intake while also having the resource so whenever you feel thirsty or need it, it can be beneficial, especially on the go. An important tip to keep in mind when staying hydrated is to monitor the amount of caffeine and alcohol you take in. Through trials, science has proven that these substances can lead to dehydration. Essentially, just make sure that you rehydrate after consuming these substances to keep your body at homeostasis. Another tip I have is more of an interesting idea. I found that flavoring your water can be a great way to motivate you to drink more. Sometimes the simplicity and bland flavor of water can cause us to not want to drink. By flavoring it, we are turning something monotone into something more vibrant, which can help us stay hydrated. Now remember, by flavor, I am not necessarily recommending super sugary things because those could lead to other problems. I'm talking about adding more natural flavors like fruits, which can help to spice things up. After doing my research for this episode, I found an interesting thing that I would like to share. We can actually see the status of our hydration through urine color. There are charts out there which show uh, what urine color is correlated to an aspect of water consumption. But why is this true? After you not drink sufficient liquids, your kidneys attempt to spare as much water as they can, thus causing your pee to be darker in color. Using urine color can be an odd method, but is a useful way of taking a look at your hydration levels. Before I end today's podcast, I would like to bring up one thing. A lot of the time, we can go overboard and drink too much water. Though rare, this can result in a condition called hyponatremia, which is a lack of sodium in the blood. Now, this should not prevent you from drinking water. This is an example of one of the potential consequences, so be wary when hydrating. Once again, this has been Rohan, live on the Healthy Human Podcast. Be sure to tune into the next episode where I'll continue to explore the wonderful world of health. Until next time, stay hydrated and remember that happiness is the product of good health.